Okay, I'd like to go through this question which I sent ideal through the group chat yesterday. Okay, just to highlight certain things that you should not do. Uh. Okay, now firstly, do not use this method to complete the square. Okay, it's very lengthy. Alright, and it's very confusing. Okay, use the method that I taught in class. Now, the other thing is, when you have this kind of real world context questions, you must always read the question carefully and see what the x and y represents okay they may not use y they may not use x they may use t they may use w h uh, p or whatever okay so you have to be very clear what y represents and in this case the y represents the height above the sea level okay of the stone and this x here does not does not represent the distance from here okay from the launch point or whatever it represents the time okay time once you start to throw the thing what is the time that is taken okay now the question in part a asks you to express y in this form now even if they don't ask you to do that uh, when you see like maximum la, all that right and then the corresponding time taken you should know that you must complete the square okay and do not use this method please use this method ask yourself uh, what you should put here you need to take out the minus one here because this has to be one right and then uh, remember uh, take this divided by this you get one this the di uh, two divided by minus one there's actually a one here two divided by minus one you get minus two and then there's an x here doggy stay here all right then after that uh, divide this by two please uh, there's no more x here some of you are still making this mistake and can you see that i put the template first so that I won't forget to minus one square of this is one. So if you if you cultivate good habits like what I'm trying to teach you to cultivate now, you will never make mistake. Okay, but if you don't cultivate these good habits, then you under as exam condition uh, you will make mistake. Okay, so that's how you do it, and that means that cover this up. This would be the maximum y, right? Which means the maximum height is this. And the time taken is 1 second. Because you set this x minus 1 to be 0, this whole thing will be 0, right? Then you can get maximum value of 10, which means that x equals to 1. And your x, in this case, represents time. Now, the second part asks you hence or otherwise. Now, because there's an otherwise there, so you can use the quadratic formula to solve this but if there is no otherwise uh, they just say hence solve the equation what does it mean it means that you must use this method okay you write the result of your part a here and then you solve it this is something this is very e -mets, okay so you get two answers and the answer given to you by me Okay, of course this is not done by me, this is uh, from another school. Uh. The teacher from the other school made a mistake here. This does not represent length. Okay, it represents time. So it should be zero, uh, 4.16 seconds. Can you make the change? That's why I say you must be very clear what you're doing. Okay, so x equals 4.16 means that it's on the positive side. Positive side and 4.16 is from here to here so it takes 4.16 seconds okay to reach sea level 